We're with uh, Tony McClung today, who's from Copain Cellars. I first met Tony, uh, he's a native Texan, I think, aren't you? I am. Yeah, and uh, lived in Houston, but we won't hold that against him. And then uh, he uh, went to uh, New York, and uh, he was going to live in New York forever. And then uh, the offer came, he worked for Neil Rosenthal. <laughs> I, I <know laughs> Take three, uh, Copain. Uh, I know that you have uh, an awesome rosé, because it, once it gets in here, it, it like just disappears within minutes. Uh, we just tried your Viognier upstairs, or as we like to say in Texas, Viognier, um, <laughs> Copain Viognier. Uh, and then you have a, a slurry of uh, Pinot Noirs and Syrahs. So, and they're all just exquisite wines, and I'm a fan. So tell me a little bit about your harvest. What's going on? Uh, 2011, painful to say the least. Um, it was a long, wet, and cold growing season in Northern California. Um, all of Northern California and Central Coast got a little bit of this, but I think we probably got it the worst in Northern California. Um, the vast majority of the vineyards that we deal with are in Mendocino, so we're about as far north as grapes are going to grow in California. Pretty high altitude, so we never really have to worry about the heat. It's more frost that we have to worry about. And this year it was rain. Rain, rain, wouldn't go away. We saw rain in May, we saw rain in June, we saw rain again in September, and we saw rain for the last week and a half, which is really dangerous for us because of the slow, slow, slow harvest that we've had. We're harvesting right now. You know, we just pulled in about 90 tons of fruit over the last seven days. We're in a typical year. That's all of our Pinot Noir production. That would take us about 12 days. And so it was very fast and we had to get it done fast because rain came and now uh, Anderson Valley is hitting about 92, 93 degrees today. So we got heat spikes in October and it's making for a difficult harvest. Overall, say production is going to be about, down about 30, 35%, and not going to make for a great year in 2011. But on the flip side of that, what did come in, spectacular. So won't be much, but get your hands on it. Man, you may live in California, but you, you talk wine like a Frenchman. You really do. <laughs> you know, it, uh, th this is great. Well, you know, I know you guys are very hands-on, very small producer, so every berry is, is, is meaningful. It comes through your, your, your operation. And uh, we're really glad to have you here. Uh, and uh, just uh, want to wish you a happy 40th birthday. Uh, thank uh, you. You're in the uh, old age of youth now. <laughs> and, but the good news is when you get a little older, then you get into the youth of old age. So you have something to look forward to. Uh, I feel wiser already. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Alfonso. Bye.